Welcome back to another Tips and Tricks Thursday. My name is Derek, and today we're going to be going over a topic that one of you commented I should make a video. ZTech Repair said, here's a video idea, a quick overview of all the tweezers you all supply. I just bought an awesome set of micro tweezers that are curved at the end from you. It's such an undercover topic. The precision needed for the repairs we do is so important, and awesome tools really help with that. And I completely agree. So let's talk about it. Now, before we get started, if you have a pair of tweezers that you favor above all others, comment it down below and like the video. Now, as you've definitely seen on the website, there are a ton of different tweezers. And for those of you that micro solder, you definitely know what I mean by a favorite pair of tweezers. So let's go over just a few that I have. Let's talk about tweezers. Now, tweezers is something that we use every single day in the industry. And there are a variety of things that we use them for. And I'm sure all of you have a pair of tweezers that you favor over all others, but it obviously depends on what you're doing. For example, this one stays in the box because it serves a purpose. I really, really like to protect these ones because of the service that they can provide. Whereas something like this, where the tips are completely destroyed, this has seen a lot of years, but I still find a use for it. Some have a really good grip, while others are super long. Some are straight, while others take weird bends, and some serve a really good purpose. For example, this pair right here, one of my favorite pairs, because it makes something like reballing when soldering so easy. Now, each one of these tweezers has its own lifespan. These are all very similar, but the tips are where it differs, especially under a microscope when I'm soldering, the tips really matter. I want to be able to grab things perfectly and pinch them. Tweezers might be bent outwards, inwards, they might be offset. It makes a big difference to have the right tweezers for the right job. Where others I'm using to pry on shards of glass and I don't care about bending them, damaging them, because I know that not only are they a cheap tweezer, but I can also replace them very easily. This one, for example, not only do I keep it in the box, but I even keep this little protector on it because of how fine tip it is. What I really like about it is how thin this area is, which means it's not gonna be removing any of the heat from a component that I grab. It also splays out into a really thick shaft, which means that I'm not going to feel the heat of something where I'm directing the heat here. So this is optimal for removing ICs that are in tight spaces or are small. And I'm very careful not to damage the tips. When I'm done with them, instead of just setting them down, I do take the time to protect them again. If not, put them all the way back inside of their case. Let me know in the comments below, which are your favorite pair of tweezers? Are you like me? And do you have a pair that you use for prying that you've had for years that look as ugly as these do, but serve a function? Or have you not given a thought about it at all? If there's something that you have to add to this topic, leave it in the comments below. Now, if you don't yet have a favorite pair of tweezers, I recommend that you get a few and find one. You won't regret it. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.